some people ask about dental sedation and why I became interested in that. Um, I would say earlier in my career, uh, many patients said that I was always very gentle, um, very comforting, and one thing basically led to another. I started to uh, take off of that and went to new technologies, how we can deliver more comfortable care, things like uh, the, the wand anesthetic and nitrous oxide, but then new um, pharmaceutical type things such as the pill sedation came around. I soon realized that even that was not sufficient to handle the most um, challenging patients. Uh, uh, people who are extremely phobic or bad gaggers or um, um, medically compromised, uh, uh, emotionally compromised, people who just were not able to be seen in other office. Roughly one percent of dentists have their, also their IV sedation license, uh, their uh, anesthesia license to deliver uh, such uh, uh, care. And I find it very uh, satisfying that we can uh, give them the care that they need, want, deserve uh, in a way that, that allows them to have, again, the quality of care uh, that, they, uh, that they aspire to. Um, uh, it allows me also to do more challenging cases, uh, the, some of the surgical cases, the implant cases, uh, but also gives me great satisfaction seeing these people come back uh, time after time and the amount of satisfaction they have uh, that uh, someone was able to listen to their concerns, uh, not judge them, uh, not embarrass them, um, uh, deliver it in, in a way that 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 uh, that, uh, that that re they really deserve to have it done. And we've had people come from uh, literally hundreds of miles, actually even all the way from Europe and other areas to uh, to have dental care done simply because they could not find that degree of of, of care in other places.